Welcome, my name is Kayla. We are gonna be moving through a 30 minute Matt Pilates class that is all about the arms. After all, this is a Pilates class, so we will hit the entire body and we cannot forget about the core. So what you'll need today is one set of dumbbells. You'll want either one, two, three, or five pound weights, probably nothing heavier than that. We wanna focus on form and body control today. Just keep that in mind and weights are always optional. Let's go ahead and get started with the warm up. And you come onto your mat in a tabletop position on all fours, hands and knees. Starting with transverse abdominal breathing, you're gonna take a deep breath in, let the belly muscles hang out, and on your exhale, pull the abs in, contracting your core away from your mat. Inhale, let the belly hang out, and then exhale, draw the tummy muscles in and up. Think about pulling your navel to your spine. Inhale again, release the abs, and then exhale, contract the abs. Now this time as you release the abs, you're gonna move into spinal extension, finding a nice gentle cow stretch here as you lift the chin and tail up. On your exhale, begin to round out your spine, scoop the belly, lifting the navel again into the backbone, finding cat stretch. Inhaling into cow, can you draw your shoulders away from your ears, really opening up your chest here. Exhale, rounding out the spine. Ooh, that flexion feels so good on the lower back. Inhale, back to extension. And again, exhale, rounding into flexion, cat spine. Now inhale, meet me back in neutral position. I'm gonna have you curl your toes under here. Let's begin to lift the hips up and find a down dog stretch here, just really pressing back through the shoulders. You might wag your tail a little bit here. Just finding some nice length in the back of the body. Now maybe raise the heels up as you inhale and stretch the heels down as you exhale. Try that two more times. Exhale, one more. Exhale, stretch the heels down. I'm gonna have you walk your hands forward and come into a high plank position here. Spread your fingertips nice and wide. Make sure your hips are nice and level. Feel free to come down onto your knees if being up on your toes is too much to start right away. Holding the position here, whether you're on your toes or your knees, I want you to think about pulling your wrists and your toes together and see if that can bring more energy into your core. I instantly just started shaking and my butt began to ignite. Hold for five, hold for four, hold for three, hold for two, hold for one. Go ahead and lift your hips up and meet me back into a down dog. Walk your hands a little closer to your feet so you can send those sits bones up towards the sky. Go ahead and separate your feet here now a little bit wider than hip width distance apart. I want you to press your right hand back and reach for your right ankle. Now if your hamstrings are super tight and you need to bend your knees to get there, that's totally fine. You're gonna come forward with that right arm and now press your left arm back towards your right ankle. Again, legs straighter, knees bent, just making a little connection as we alternate right hand to left ankle. Now left hand to right ankle. Just feeling those shoulders start to push back and we're here for four and three, two, and last one, find yourself back in your down dog and you're gonna come down into tabletop position here. Center your right hand up on the middle of the mat. Inhale, take your left arm up towards the ceiling and you're gonna circle your left arm behind you. Three, two, and one. Reversing forward for three, two, and one. Take your left hand down to the center of your mat. Let's repeat that on the right side. Open the chest, little spinal rotation here. That feels so good. Twist that right arm back into a circle. Two, and one more. Meet the right arm back up, and let's reverse forward. Down and around three, two, and one. Take both hands back down on the mat here. Curl your toes under. Come back to that transverse abdominal breath. So big inhale. On your exhale, you're gonna tighten your tummy muscles up, lift them away from your mat. Now also lift your knees up and away from the mat. Hold the neck and the spine nice and long, and then inhale, lightly touch them down. 
On your exhale, again, lift the knees up, pull the abs in, and lower down. Just a light tap, right back up on the exhale. Make sure your elbows are softly bent so we're not hyperextending there, and lower down. You've got two more little hovering tabletop, and the last one, exhale, push down to hover. Inhale, soften the knees, untuck the toes here, and let's sit those hips back into a little resting position, child's pose. Just taking a moment to stretch back here. Maybe do a little hip sway from side to side. Beautiful, we should be nice and warm now, and we're ready for the bulk of the workout. You're gonna need your light weights for all three movements. We're gonna start in tabletop position with those hands on your weight. From your tabletop, you're gonna take one arm up, bicep in line with the ear, the other arm comes up, bicep in line with the ear, and then you're gonna go into that lateral raise. So your first arm goes out to the side, you wanna feel that lift from your back, and your second arm goes out to the side, feel that lift from your back. Exercise number two, we'll be moving into that down dog reach back that we did in the warm ups, just adding some weight to it now. So you're gonna send those hips up, Option to have your hands on the weights or off the weights. If you're off the weights and grabbing into that alternation, you're just gonna have to slow it down a little bit, releasing that weight each time. If your hands are comfortable on the weight, this is ideal, and you're gonna press back, alternating reach backs here. Exercise number three is gonna take us into a reclined sideline position. We're only gonna need one weight for this one. As you lie down on your mat, I want you to prop yourself up on your forearm and elbow. Bring your weight out long towards your legs. Our legs are slightly angled forward. That will help with balance. Coming into a bicep curl with a side leg raise. Again, absolutely all about those arms. Feeling a little glute in that side leg raise. All right, we're gonna shoot for eight to 10 reps of each exercise, beginning in tabletop, all fours. Belly in strong, we wanna refrain our body from swaying side to side. Here we go, big breath in. Tummy muscles contract up. Coming back to that transverse abdominal breathing, front raise up, front raise up, alternate, lateral raise out, lateral raise out. Now you can stay right here with those knees down as you come back to that front raise, feeling those shoulders, feeling your core fire up, working into the back muscles, into your lats in that side raise. Now if you want a little bit more, you're gonna hover your knees up and go into that front raise. Front raise, side raise, side raise. Staying on those knees or setting them down and coming back up. We've got two more full sets here. Front raise, front raise, side, side. Woo! That is a challenge to keep your body still if your knees are hovering. Last one here. Front raise, front raise, lateral raise, lateral raise those knees will set down for a moment you're going to turn your weights now the opposite way so the dumbbells ends are facing each other when you're ready take a deep breath in on your exhale send those hips up and back into your downward dog feet are a little bit wider than the hip width distance take a breath in on your exhale send your right hand back to your left ankle and inhale to come forward exhale press back really lift the lower abs up here Try to send your sit bones up towards the sky and feel those tummy muscles lift to create space and create reach as the opposite hand is coming towards the opposite ankle here. Good, five to eight each side. Wherever you're at, go ahead and finish out two more each side, exhaling as you're pressing back. Again, bend your knees if you've got tight hamstrings here. Come back to that down dog and soften your knees to the mat. Go ahead and take yourself down into sideline position. We're gonna set one weight off to the side. Meet me down on your forearm and elbow. Angle those legs forward here. Go ahead and take your opposite arm up. Palm is gonna reach out and away so that top shoulder draws away from the ear. Now float your top leg up to hover as well. Abs pull back. Contract your core, exhale. We've got a bicep curl here and a side leg raise. Exhale, curl in, side leg raise. Exhale, and inhale. Exhale, 
and inhale. Woo, that weight is getting heavy, holding it out and away into that long lever. We've got three and lift, two and lift, last one and lift. Beautiful, set the arm and leg down and let's go ahead and just swing it on over to the other side. We want everything to elongate and lift up here. Here we go, exhale to curl, inhale to raise. Exhale to curl, inhale to raise. Push down on that mat as you curl and inhale to raise. Can you keep your heel lifted a little higher than your pinky toe in your raise as you inhale? Feel that booty lift. Here's three, raise. Exhale, two, pull those tummy muscles in, raise. Last one, curl and raise. Exhale, Woo. set everything down. Great job, you guys. We're back to our single arm tabletop front raise and side raise. So go ahead and meet me there when you're ready. Hands are gonna be on the weights. Again, if that just doesn't feel good on your wrist, remember to keep your arms or palms just flat down on the mat here. You wanna keep the tummy muscles in and up. Knees are nice and wide. Now I showed you that variation of hovering the knees off in first round. That's where I'm gonna start in that hover. Exhale, raising, right arm, raising, left arm. Lateral, right, lateral, left. Right, front, left, front. Lateral, right, lateral, left. Keep those tummy muscles in. We've got three more rounds. Hover those knees if you can. If you're getting fatigued and your form is compensating, set those knees back down. Quality reps over quantity here. Beautiful. Pull those abs in. Keep your body as stable as possible. Finish out your lateral raises, side to side. And we're gonna go in to those down dog press backs. Turn your dumbbells so the ends are facing each other. Again, option hands on or off the weights as you take those hips up here. Take a big breath in. On your exhale, press back. Pay attention to your core muscles. Concentrate on lifting the belly up and away from the thigh muscles as you're reaching back. Push through your shoulders here. Five each side. Here's three. And two. Use your breath to tighten your belly. One more each side. Beautiful, set those knees down. Woo. Giving those wrists a shake out. That's why I have positioned the side lying exercise at the end to give those wrists a nice break. Flex the foot, take a deep breath in. Exhale, bicep curl, hold to hover, lateral raise. Bicep curl, hold to hover, lateral raise. Curl, inhale to lift. Exhale to curl, inhale to lift. You're doing awesome. Keep that shoulder plugged into your back. If the weight starts to get heavy, set it down and keep the body weight moving here for three. And raise, two, and raise. Last one, and finish with that raise. Exhale, Woo, set it down. We go right into the other side here. My goodness. Already getting sweaty. <laughs> All right, nice and long here. Open the shoulder, flip the palm up, roll the shoulders up, back and down. Hover your top leg, lift the heel. Good, push down and into the mat. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, curl, lateral raise. Exhale, curl, lateral raise. Exhale to curl, lateral raise. You've got this. Lift that heel higher than the toe. Really feel those outer butt muscles working. Here for five and four, three, two, last one. Finish with that inhale, raise and exhale. Set it down. Great job. We're already to our last and final round. 
coming back to that tabletop, front raise to lateral raise. Hands are gonna be on the weights or off the weights, and you've got that option again, knees down or knees up. Well, let's go ahead and get started here, taking a big breath in on your exhale. Right arm forward, left arm forward, right arm side, left arm side, right arm forward, left arm forward, right arm side, left arm side. Keep it going, moving at your pace for three more full rounds through. Keep those tummy muscles in nice and tight. If your knees are hovering, your quads are going to be on fire to help stabilize. Nice and steady here. Last round through. Work into the back on that side raise. Woo! And take a moment. Catch your breath before we go into that down dog reach back. All right, turning the dumbbells again so the ends face each other. Now you know, hands on the weights or off the weights. As you're ready, go ahead and meet me up in downward facing dog. Feet a little wider than hip width distance apart. Drop your head back, ears between arms. Take a breath in. On your exhale, opposite arm, opposite ankle. Bring it forward, pick that weight up. Opposite arm, opposite ankle. We're working a lot of flexibility here. Getting a little press back through your core and through your shoulders. Three more each side. Finish left arm to right ankle. Meet back in your down dog and soften those knees down. Go ahead, turning onto your side. One weight only here. Make sure your body's nice and long. I like to think about like stretching my body like a piece of Laffy Taffy. Trying to get as long as the mat here. Actually quite short. So the more I can physically lengthen my body, the better. Externally rotate that top shoulder as the palm flips up. Your top leg comes to hover. Feet are flexed. Deep breath in to prepare. Exhale those tummy muscles back and give me that bicep curl. Show me those strong arms. Lift on the inhale. Curl in. Lift from your seat. Good. Work that booty here as much as you can. Push down on the mat with your elbow. Hip. Keep everything nice and long. We've got four. Lift. Three, lift, two, lift, last one, lift and pulse it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, surprise! Sometimes I'll do that. <laughs> I find it sometimes helpful to not know what's coming, but also sometimes it is helpful to prepare the mind mentally for the physical challenge ahead. But sometimes just that spontaneous movement keeps our body motivated. Second side here to finish this out. Take that top leg up to hover, push the mat away. Take all the wrinkles out of your side as you feel the length here. Deep breath in to prepare. Exhale, curl. Inhale, raise. Exhale, curl. Inhale, raise. Exhale, curl. Inhale, raise, work that heel higher than the toe. Remember, we wanna lift and feel that booty. I know you're gonna feel it when those pulses are coming here. In four, you've got this. Three, stay strong. We're almost there, two, one more. You're gonna hold that arm out as you lift that leg up and pulse the heel. 10, nine, eight, seven, shaking six, Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Set your weight down. Go ahead and meet me back in your tabletop position here. All fours, hands and knees. Let's just take a quick round of cat and cows to get our heart rate down a little bit. Inhale, lift the chin, lift the tail. Exhale, rounding out the spine. Scoop the belly up into cat. Inhale, moving your way into cow. Exhale, rounding out the spine into cat. One more time, inhaling into cow. And exhaling into cat.
cat. Beautiful, nice flat back here. We're gonna take the right arm up like we did in the warm up, open to a T. Let's take a nice thread the needle here, bringing the right arm underneath the left, send the bottom up. I like to take the left arm behind the back into a little half wrap, just relieving the shoulders here for a moment. We did do a lot of work stabilizing in the shoulders, especially in that front and lateral raise. That is really hard on the shoulders and the upper back muscles. So just go ahead and give them a nice release here. Taking your left hand back to the mat if you were in that half wrap. Just take a moment, sweep your right arm back up, open the chest to a T and take the right arm down. Let's switch sides. Inhale, the left arm opens. Exhale, thread the arm under here, resting the ear down. And then again, if you want that half wrap of the right arm going behind the back, take a couple deep breaths here, keeping your bottom lifted. The weight of your chest is pushing down on your bottom arm, really feeling that stretch across the shoulder and to the upper back. Release the wrap of the right arm, press the hand down, inhale, sweeping your left arm up towards the ceiling, and exhale, let's take it down. And I like to just give the wrists a little counter stretch. Flip your palms up and place the back of your hand on the mat, letting the weight of your chest and shoulders come forward just as much as feels comfortable for you. So we can definitely put too much pressure on the wrists in this counter stretch. Our wrists are not really you know, meant to bear weight in this position. So just be mindful and gentle about it. Feeling a big stretch all the way up through my forearms here. And then I also like to do a little wiggle of the fingers. Bring some energy into our fingers, our hands. They do so much for us. There's so many small muscles, tendons, and ligaments in our hands that we forget about. So it's important to give them some love too. Bring your arms up overhead, standing on your knees. Big breath in here, tummy muscles pull in. Grab hold of your left wrist and let's just finish with a nice side lateral stretch here. Coming up tall, switching out the grip and then exhale, taking it over to the other side. Big breath in, coming back to center nice and tall and then exhale, go ahead and take your hands down to your sides. Thank you so much for joining me all about the arms today. It was quick and fierce. I'll see you next time.